So a few months ago, I made a tutorial on how to connect Blender with Unreal Engine. But on that thing, there was a problem with that. And actually, that was not a problem, but I got a better solution for that. So on that thing, on that tutorial, uh, I show you how you can connect your Blender with Unreal Engine. Basically, you can export your Blenders into Unreal Engine very easily. If you're not familiar with that thing, I will recommend you to go and watch that tutorial. I will put the link in the description. So basically, the problem on that thing is you can't see or you can't preview your animation until you import your complete file into Unreal Engine. So to fix that issue, I got a solution for that. So for demonstration, I will just add, a, for example, the cube there, GX and i will add a camera there so this is the camera and i will just give a keyframe to this camera there and then i will give another keyframe there there is a camera animation there this is unreal engine and what i will do is i will just uh, exit this i will select everything file export usd and then I will just, um, I will put this thing there. So you have to make sure that you enable this thing, animation. And you can enable everything if you want. And you can leave this like that. Just enable this thing and you are good to go with this. So you have to export the USD file. And now you have to open your Unreal. And make sure that you enable your USD plugin in Unreal. So in Unreal Engine, you will get this USD stage editor option. Click on the file, open and then you have to just select your USD file. So if I click, I will just remove this one. Okay, so you can see we have the camera there. This is our camera and this is our cube. So it is not visible in the right now. Okay, there we have the cube. I will just move this thing to this area so that we can properly see everything. Okay, so this is our cube and this is our camera. So the problem with this is uh in order to see the animation of your camera you have to go to file and then you have to uh, sorry not file you have to go to action and then you have to import and this can be like kind of very wanky sometimes because for example if you want to uh just want to preview your camera animation in unreal then it will be kind of a very painful thing to just do the import again and again so in order to preview your animation directly into unreal engine without importing what you have to do you have to just go to your level sequencer and then you can just create a new level sequencer i will just name this thing test and then you can save this so now you can see we have a new level sequencer there and basically what you have to do you have to just go to your usd stage editor means your usd file and then you have to drag drop your file into your level sequencer so now you can see we are getting the camera and everything now what you can do you can preview your animation also so this is i think camera number i don't know what was the number of this camera i think this one yeah this one so just select your camera and now you can see that we are not getting any kind of animation in our camera but in blender we have that animation this animation so what you have to do you have to just go to this time click on this button you will add a keyframe there just move your keyframes there and you can increase your value there and your camera animation is there so right now this is moving very fast the issue with that is because uh, the animation of the camera in blender is around i think 57 frames so you have to match that thing so if i go to around i think 57 there this one and you have to increase this number to 57 and we are good to go so now you can see you will get the proper speed and proper animation of your camera without importing anything and now for example i want to animate this cube also so i will just give a keyframe there and then i will go to this area then i will rotate this and move this thing there i location and rotation so there we have the animation and i will limit my frame to 60 and then i will just select everything file export usd just override your files then you have to go to unreal and then you have to just go to files and then reload stage and i think i have to give keyframes why this so you can just go to frame number i think 54 and then you can just write 54 there and you will see that your camera animation is there 
and to see this thing in main view you have to just go to perspective and then you have to just select your camera there so now you can see the camera animation and everything is working fine and you can preview this and when you are happy with your animation you can just click on action import and it will automatically import all your blender files into your unreal engine so this is the solution of that thing how you can preview your animation in unreal engine without importing anything so i think this will work with any kind of animation character animation i think so uh, maybe it will also work with the simulations also i never tried this method with simulation like smoke simulation or destruction or anything but in future i will definitely make some other tutorials on simulation also how you can use that thing with usd so basically this is the solution and that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching